Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. I love them. Don't troll. Uh, after last yesterday's ridiculous foray into whatever the... F I'm still not sure what pansexual means. I've heard about 15 different definitions. Uh, somebody on the Secret Squirrel Facebook page basically just said it just means they do anything. Okay, so undermining an established legacy character to fit in some sort of fucked up narrative. Does that make any sense? Or would it make more sense to introduce a new character with those predilections and leave Lando alone? All right. And I find it fascinating that they haven't said anything after the announcement from uh, younger Kasdan. I don't know. What are they doing? Trying to figure out how bad the damage is? It's big. It's big. There were people that were going to go see this despite... Everyone's saying not to, and guess what? They're not going to see it now. Good job. So here's a question for Bob Iger. What do you tell parents of children who would like to go, to, to have them go to see Star Wars movies when you've got this? Is this something a child should see? Now I know uh, you're, you, the, the public schools are trying to sexualize five-year-olds in kindergarten classes and stuff. Um, I know that the public schools are rampant with the kinds of things that uh, they shouldn't be teaching young kids because being a child is so bad, right, in, in, in this so-called worldly view anymore. Um, you know, but if you want your kids to be a kid and you want them to go on an adventure with you, going to this movie and meeting Han Solo for the first time, and we've got... Pando Lando. What do you tell them? What do you tell the kids? Do you honestly think that it is healthy and normal for a kid to be exposed to something like that? I don't. Maybe they think it's normal in Hollywood, but it's not normal anywhere else. And oh, by the way, after the things I've heard from friends that are in Hollywood, actors, actresses, directors, producers, writers, uh, showrunners, there's nothing normal about Hollywood. All right. So why, if I was a parent, should I want my child exposed to Pando Lando? I want you to think about that. All right? When you have a base of fans that has been loyal for 40 years, and then you start doing this, this base of fans has kids, young kids, preteen kids, but they have kids. They want to introduce them to, to Star Wars. They want to introduce them, them to Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker, and Lando Calrissian. Show them the character arcs that they went on, the journeys they went on, to become the people, the adults they became. And then you do this. Pando Lando. I want somebody to answer me that. All right? And don't say, well, things have to change. No, they don't. Not this way. Like I said, you want to have a character like that? Either introduce a separate character, or guess what? Go make a gay space opera or a pansexual space opera and leave Star Wars alone. Okay? That'd be a good thing. Are you creative enough to do that? Are you? And then the 1% that you're, whose ass you're kissing has their own little niche, and the rest of us don't have to be exposed to it. All right? Now, I don't know what you're doing doing, doing behind the scenes, but uh, you've got to be worried. 69% viewers now want to see this POS. 73% Rotten Tomatoes uh, rating on uh, Rotten Tomatoes from the critics. Obviously, uh, Deadpool's doing well. Uh... The, the Queen biopic, Freddie Mercury, is coming out pretty soon. Uh, you know, here's the deal. I know you idiots at Lucasfilm 
think I'm being a bigot because I'm saying this. I'm not being a bigot, all right? I'm really not. You don't understand what the word means. A bigot means I would hate people for being gay, bi, whatever. I don't. Uh, I can't. I'd have to go to confession because you're supposed to love people, even sinners, right? So here's the question. Why would you take an established character like Lando Calrissian, who is a notorious womanizer? You could see it in The Empire Strikes Back and in other books um, from, the, from the actual canon, Lucas, true canon. Why would you take that character and then do this? Why? To make a statement, to piss us off, to drive us away? No, I honestly think that none of you are aware of what you say. You think everybody agrees with you and are always shocked to find out more people than not don't. All right, you're supposed to be making Star Wars movies, not social justice warrior shit. Crap, okay? You're the people who are still shocked, shocked by the last presidential election and can't accept it. It's been over for over a year now. It'll be going on two years in November. It's time to grow up and let it go, okay? All right? Because we're all bored with it. We've all gotten on. I don't even give a shit about politics much anymore. Um, and the reason why is because I worked in, in D.C. I know what it's like. And the shit that goes on, I'm bored. It's dumb. It, it's and, and having it shoved in my face this virtue signaling from the left these progressive idiots is tiresome because you are the only people that live like that the rest of us don't a we can't afford it b it, it's it's utter nonsense and only entitled babies that have never grown up could actually even think about accepting it so get it out of our movies or like i said if you want to make a space opera about gays in space, lesbos in space, uh, robot love in space, Ewoks and Wookiees, I don't give a shit, do it. But leave the legacy characters of Han Solo, Princess Leia Organa, Luke Skywalker, and Lando Calrissian alone the way George Lucas envisioned them. Because I'm going to tell you something. When something like a piece of art, like Star Wars, is seen by the public and becomes part of the public's tapestry, it becomes part of their home, their identity, it no longer belongs to whoever owns the franchise. It belongs to the public. All right? It's like this. If a filmmaker makes a movie and deliberately makes an ugly movie and then is shocked that people don't like it. If that doesn't, and then blames the people, here's the problem. It's an ugly movie. The people have spoken. It's out in public. Now it belongs to the discourse. It belongs to them too. They don't like it. So whose fault is it? It's your fault as the artist. You, you are the one with the strange in, inner workings and you are the one who did it? You're the one who created it. So what does it say about you? All right. This is the thing. Star Wars belongs to the culture and us. It doesn't belong to people who are the caretakers. And you are doing a lousy job. All right. Lando Pando. God. I can't even. I can't believe you that Disney has not come out and said, well, uh, he didn't really mean it that way. Lost in translation. I can't believe it. I'm looking at the interest to see this movie on Rotten Tomatoes starting to crater. If you brought a 69% home on a test, your parents would crush you, all right, if you have good parents. Your teacher would be on the phone saying, well, little Jimmy didn't do very good, he got a D. That's a D. That's a D, okay? That's a D. I remember getting Ds in math because I wasn't good at it. Now, I'm good enough to be able to balance my own checkbook, which, funny enough, I doubt anybody at Lucasfilm can do because they sure 
piss away a lot of money down SJW rabbit holes that no one gives a shit about. So, to Bob Iger, again, because of what little Johnny Kasdan said about Lando Calrissian and Soylo, a Soy War story. I, as a, as a parent, why should I want my, ch my child, my five-year-old, my six-year-old, my ten-year-old, to be exposed to this garbage that he doesn't need to see because he's a little kid? Okay? I want you to explain that to me. Yeah, we're pissed off. And, and, and we're not done. And not to mention the anger I've seen in a lot of my black friends. Okay? You know, it, it just, this whole thing's like, you know, you couldn't come up with a different character, so you took the one African-American man in the first trilogy, the OT, and did this to him. I want you to think about how bad that looks. It's, it's right up there with turning Finn into a dancing bear. A minstrel, all right, rather than a, a, a character with agency, all right? You people have really stepped on the rake big time. You have effed up. You have walked across the oil slick and landed on your butts, okay? And I, for one, I'm laughing my head off, all right? You know, you pick the wrong actor to play Han Solo. Then you pull this crap with Lando. And we're all supposed to go, ooh, let's go see that. And anybody who comes in and says, I'm not a Star Wars fan, this is tough love. You will fix these problems. You will fix it like Marvel fixed their problems, or you won't have a franchise anymore because it will be dead. All right? Look at, here's my last thing. Look at the, look at the lack of tickets being sold. Look at the lack of toys being sold. All right? They're practically giving Han Solo toys away. This is the most popular character in the franchise. No one wants them. Why? Because people don't like what you've done to the franchise. All right? You should have left the legacy characters alone, not done sequels, but you didn't, and now you destroyed everything. And you keep doing it. You keep doubling down. It's like, I don't think you want to do this. You're, you're purposely doing this to kill, to kill Star Wars. It doesn't make any sense to me. But that's what it looks like to some people. I don't. I just think you're too stupid to understand that pushing this agenda that is literally irrelevant and pisses people off and harmful to little kids out there, you think everybody wants that. All we want is Star Wars. And our heroes to be the heroes we grew up with. That's it. That's all we wanted. And you failed. You failed. You know, not even, I mean, it, it's a kind of fail I can't even believe because it's so easy to not do it. So, explain to me why anybody would want to take their kids to this. Why I would want to pass this new sequel trilogy and, these, and this offshoot, this standalone movie off to my kids. All right, let you all sit and sit back and marinate in that. And this is Steph going out to see my horse, signing out. See you around the galaxy.